en route between St Paul and St Marie, August 6, 1898. The whole place has taken a great step forward since we saw it 18 months ago, and the development of the orchard strikes one most of all. The orchards now look beautifully cared for. The trees have grown marvellously, so that they look quite established. The old instead of young plantations about which there is only hope to feed on. The northern spy trees are bearing this year and many of the trees were simply laden with fruit. Mr Ricardo estimated having 15 tonnes of apples to dispose of, but he has 50 and it is all sold to two wholesale firms at two half cents a pound. They will be picking and packing in three weeks. The new fruit packing house is also very businesslike and the little wooden boxes are now being made at the rate of 100 boxes a day by a boy by means of a simple machine. The same way with the apple boxes and crates, the wood is supplies in stacks of the right size and is made up by our own men. There will also be a great crop of plums and a good one of pears. We are to begin to make vinegar with the rejected apples this autumn and the growing of vegetables will go forward on a large scale now that the wholesale vegetable merchant in the Kootenay undertakes to purchase them. On Saturday we had a regular party for luncheon. Then we all proceeded to the other side to the place the children call the race course for a roundup of the cattle and then a picnic at the head of the Long Lake, which is quite a success. We left the party to go on the lake for a row whilst we went to pay farewell calls to the plot holders. We had a hurried dinner with the Markleys, Mr. Outland and Mr. Brown and then drove in for farewell festivities at Vernon. Special platform erected outside, Chinese lanterns, decoration, address from the mayor and citizens, fireworks and farewell reception, with a further, rather drawn out farewell at the station. The engine of our special train could not find the heart to go and groaned and fumed in the attempt considerably. Morrison and Mrs Morrison have come up from Gushigan to see us and A sent for their children to see the fireworks. All going well there and it is to pay its way this year, they say, without a doubt.